I've gone ahead and done a little bit more work on this autopsy room here and what I've done since my last video was I've done these lights these are going to be lights up here they're just rectangles with uh, a plane in there that will be an emission and some bars in there really simple all right and holding these lights are some chains attached uh, to the ceiling I put some pipes in and I put some potential cables I don't have a nice connection to the ceiling for those but I'm thinking that I probably would you know render it you know kind of like kind of like this you know and maybe you wouldn't see that or or if I think you will then I'll fix that up I've done some sort of mock walls and brought in a, a human figure to start getting some scale to this and I'm going to go on now and I'm going to create the, the autopsy bed I'm going to do that in another file okay so let's see looking now from the top here's what i'm going to do i'm going to bring in a plane i'm going to scale it in the y and i'm going to create the autopsy bed and i'll i'll get it to fit in the room later so i'm i'm going to do this and i'm going to extrude it down a little bit and i've got that and i'm going to use I'm going to use that as the middle part because I want to create a design inside that's going to have the drain and some sort of channels for like blood. All right. It's not going to look exactly like the original, but here's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring this up so that my 3D cursor is roughly where the drain would be. All right. And I'm going to bring in a circle. I think I'm going to go with 32 actually. Scale that down. And that's going to fit around the drain and it's going to have the channel. So let's see how how I can do this. <laughs> um, okay, so what I think I'm going to do is let's just make that a little bit higher there. Let's try this. I'm going to deselect. I'm going to select those three and those three. Three, three, maybe, th maybe you'll do threes all the way around. That one. We'll try this. In medium point, I'm going to press uh, E and S. Come out like this. Something like that. And then I'm going to switch to individual origins and press S. Scale them kind of even. I might make it a little bit narrower. Then I take this one. I'm going to pull it way up. And then I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to switch to normal. And just drag it up there. I suppose I could mirror this really. I'll just do that. Maybe this one could come down here. And that one too. Something like that. Alright. Just trying things. Then I'm going to go in and I am going to delete these vertices. Press 1. Select that F. F, make a face on all these. That one. Let's go back to median point and global. Okay. Let's select everything and then uh, hold down control to deselect there. So I've got those points there. Now let's bevel these with the shift control B pull slowly and then I've got four points in total five maybe hold that shift just kind of round them out like that select everything and press F to make a face and extrude it up to give it some thickness select it all alt and recalculate outside so we've got that okay I'm going to take that 
and push that down just a little bit into here. Let's select the main part of the autopsy bed or whatever. Choose Boolean difference and this. Let's try that. I'm going to turn on the cavity shader. I have that. Now that might be a little deep actually. So I'm going to back up until I see that it's red here. I'm going to take this, pull it up a little ways like that. Maybe we'll try that. I'll just hide that. And now on this, I'm going to add a bevel. I'm going to go for three. Let's try 0 0.02. I'm not sure if that'll change anything. And I'll switch geometry from sharp to arc. And that may or may not do anything either. Okay, I'll take it. I'm going to go ahead and delete that now. Now, let's try something. Let's take let's take that whole thing, shift D. I'm just going to pull it up, P to break it out. And let's take this in E, Alt S. I'm going to push out. I'm going to take the whole thing and pull it down again. So this is a separate piece. Take the bottom here. Let's pull that down. You're not going to see underneath it. So I'm not too worried about that. Let's take these edges here and we'll round them. We'll bevel them manually. Control B, pull. I'm going to go for five. Let's take this edge. Let's do the bottom. Like that. All right, let's take this now and just give it a bevel. Bring that back. Let's take the whole thing, lift it just above the ground plane there. Okay, so like I say, we're not going to see the bottom of it anyhow. Um, yeah, I don't have need to worry about anything here. Okay, now. My 3D cursor is still right in the middle, so let's bring in another circle, 32, scale it down, bring it above, and make the drain area. So I want a little area here, and then the drain. So let's press, I have to make a face, E to extrude, push it all the way through. I'll then recalculate outside just in case, let's make sure. Let's grab this. Now we're going to lose a little bit of our bevel, I think, here. Let me do another Boolean. We'll uh, live with that. Apply. Actually, it's not bad. I'm just going to hide that. So now there's a hole there. Okay. Now I'm going to come in here, and let's see if we can bevel this edge. Shade smooth. Let's come over here and add weighted normal and auto smooth. So that's how it's looking so far. Let's bring that back. Let's use this to make the drain. Uh, what I want to do is I want to take this and face selection, actually. And pull this up quite a bit. Pull that down. I actually think I want to delete those faces so I have just this take this bottom here and this is how we're gonna make the drain part actually I think what I'll do is I will bring it to about there yeah okay that's all right let's go E and S and come in now we're gonna do the holes E and S so I want holes here a little bit of space I want holes there a little bit of space now I can adjust this Let's come out a bit more. Grab this one, S. So I'm gonna have sort of bigger holes there and little littler holes there. Before I do that, just S to scale the whole thing in just a little bit. 
All right. Okay. So here's how we're going to do it. Let's look from the top. Three for face selection. Shift Alt and click there and choose checker deselect. So select checker deselect. X faces. Shift Alt and click there. Same thing. Checker deselect and delete. Okay. So we're going to use that now. Let's give it a bit of thickness with solidify. And that's a little bit much, so I'm going to bring it back to about there. Right, I'm going to apply the solidify and add bevel. 3, 0 0.02. We'll shade smooth. We'll switch the geometry. Now, this is pretty square. This should change it a little bit to arc. It's a little bit better. And then we'll add the weighted normal and I'll smooth and from a distance it's hopefully going to be okay I'll pull that down a little bit all right like that I'll hide that so you can see it we can try adding shadow it doesn't really help in this case what we should do however is make sure that all our polys are facing the right way okay everything's good so far all right so now with that done we can now take a cube and make the stand for this thing the legs whatever you call it i want to make sure that i've got enough room from the drain something like that okay so I'm going to delete the bottom face and I'm going to delete the top face and I'm going to bring in an edge loop down about there about two thirds shift alt to click that in face selection E and alt s and I'm going to pull it in smaller like that now I'll have these extra faces shift alt and click and just delete them and then before I do anything else grab these edges and bevel them control B pull and I should have, I got two there, one, that's three, four, five edges. And I will do another bevel right here. Control B. I can shade smooth and do the usual stuff here. I can add weighted normal and auto smooth, just leaving it on 30%. So I would have that. And then I would have to adjust the height of this, you know, when I get it into the room, but. Uh, basically, I'm going to take this and shift D. I'm going to pull it down here. Let's look from the side. That's, that's probably okay. But this one, I want wider like that. Almost like a desk. I can just get up a drawer in it or whatever. I'll take the whole thing and pull it up. Now I will put on the shadow. I can try different different views, whatever. Actually, we will make sure that those legs are okay. Yeah, they are. And that's really it for the table. There's uh, not too much detail on it. Um, and so I'm going to leave that like that, and we'll bring it into the scene, and we'll move on with uh, more stuff soon.